Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tiana. Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, I am going to be reviewing, doing a wet test on a blush palette. And this blush palette is called Love Sprung. And this palette is from a new brand to me. And this brand is called Artist Couture. When I saw this palette, I immediately fell in love with this palette because it looks so pretty. It has two blushes and one bronzer and the way the palette closes is by Magnetic. And also I'm going to be reviewing the Sephora sponges here. These are coconut sponges from Sephora by Sephora. When I saw these sponges, I love it so much. So I hope you guys like today's content. If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, and let's do this. So these just came out from Sephora. They are so adorable. And this will be my first time using them. I'm going to go ahead and wet them. Oh, they expand it out to pretty big. So in comparison with the Beauty Blender, they are definitely smaller than the Beauty Blender and a lot more firmer than the Beauty Blender. This one feels like it's a little bit softer than this one. Today, I'm going to be using the Guerlain Lingerie Foundation here. So I'm gonna go over with this coconut sponge here. It doesn't have the bounciness of a beauty blender. So I feel like I'm just kind of taking off the foundation using the sponge and kind of blending out like this instead of pushing the foundation into my skin. Okay, I'm gonna use the beauty blender on this side. Okay, so I add a little bit more foundation on this side and the beauty blender helps to kind of push the foundation into my skin. So on this side, you see less of the redness. On this side, you see more. Let's try with this coconut. Okay, so you kind of see that there's still some redness on the skin of this side and this one has foundation on so yeah, definitely this guy takes off more foundation than blending into my skin So for concealer, I'm gonna use this uh, coconut sponge on the left side and my beauty blender on the right side to compare the two I'm gonna start off with my beauty blender So this coconut here Okay. On the right side, my eyes was blend out a lot better compared to the left side here. I think because of the shape, the coconut is really hard for me to get into my eyes. And it's a lot more firmer. Also, I feel like it is taking off the foundation too instead of really blending into my skin. So this side definitely has more concealer than this side. So the two sides can be even. When I use a beauty blender, it takes no time. <laughs> and it's a lot softer actually. Okay guys, so I've quickly finished up the rest of my makeup. So today, I am going to use the bronzer and mix the combination of both. So for bronzer, I'm gonna use this brush. I like it that it's definitely buildable. This is a totally different new brush. Wow, that is pigmented. Okay, that should be enough. So I felt like I have so much makeup on today for work. It's okay because I have a lot of blushes on just to see if the uh, formula is long lasting and so I can see the color better. So you are coming to work with me today and see you in a little bit.
Hey guys, so it has been about 11, 12 hours since I started putting on the blushes from the Love Sprung palette. And this is again by the Artist Couture brand. And my blushes look really good still. It is very long lasting and it is pigmented. I love this palette because I love the design of it. It is very small. Uh, I love the wording. It is in gold. And I like that when you open it and you close it and it's magnetically closed together like that. I like this pink here. The bronze is really pretty. And a little peach here. And also the naming of these colors. This one is Baby Bloom, Internal Flame, and Swoon Me. I would totally recommend this product just because it's long lasting, it's beautiful, and it's very pigmented. So moving on to the coconut sponges. They are definitely more firmer than the Beauty Blender sponge. And the shape of it is just not ideal to really blend out the foundation. And also because I feel like they're too firm that when I was trying to blend out my foundation, it wasn't really blending out my foundation. It's kind of soaking up my foundation into the sponges. It's fun to kind of play with them but it's definitely not something that I would use but I wouldn't buy it if you plan to use them to blend out your foundation definitely a no I really want to give a shout out to my Ilia eyeshadow here they are very pigmented long lasting and look at this nothing and I didn't think that I would like this color this color is growing on me like a fungus <laughs> and also another shout out to my Ilia lipstick lip balm lip oil Okay, so thank you for tuning in and uh, I'll see you next one. Bye. Feels good to love again. Know that you're my best friend.